I was, wasn't I? Crazy how he ended up in our After line of work. After seeing us in action, who could blame him? Yagami-san, everything okay over there? Yeah, sorry, it's a long story. You were saying something about a big case? Oh, yeah. Listen, man, you gotta come check out Yokohama. We've been getting jobs left and right down here. And if we can ace this case I've got lined up, we'll be the hottest detectives in town. Oh, yeah? You sure it's a legit lead? Hey, have some faith. Would I waste your time on a bad lead? Just looking out for you, man. <laughs> Well, I do appreciate that. Then, should I save the details for when I see you? Sure. When do you want us over? Honestly, ASAP. Tomorrow, if you can swing it. We're based in Ijincho. Look for an office that says Yokohama 99 out front. That's us. The real question is, you free on such short notice? Uh, let me check my schedule. What schedule? Outside of today's shit, we haven't had work in weeks. If I tell them that, they'll lowball our cut, smart guy. Oh, right. <laughs> Guess we don't want to look desperate. Uh, sorry, Sugira. Yeah, tomorrow works just fine. Perfect. Man, this is gonna be so great. Oh, and Kaito-san's coming too, right? He'll be there. Sweet. Sweet. Sugira said he'd give us the details when we get there. Huh. Way to build the suspense. Yokohama, though. Can't say I'm really familiar with that neck of the woods. Same here. But you know what? Kamurocho has been pretty tame lately. Maybe this is our chance to broaden our horizons. Yokohama 99's cross streets. Aww, it's not even close to Chinatown. So much for us getting a decent meal on this trip, huh? Well, then how about on the way home we take ourselves a little detour? Maybe. Tsukumo's place is way out there. Want to take a taxi? I suppose we could. But why don't we hoof it? Yeah, we could see the sights. I guess I'm on board with that.
And stay down. Let's roll, Tom. Really, guys? What is it? Stay down. Let's hit it. And stay down. Let's hit it. Really, guys? Let's roll, Tuck. Tuck, it's not the way at all. Whoops, you're right. Tuck, it's not the way at all. Whoops, you're right. I need to. Not the way at all. Whoops. Talk. Hmm? Nonsense over there. 
That's not what I said. So, would you call me? What the? Hey, what are you filming me for? Knock it off! Chill out, man. Why do you care? I don't see anything that says I can't record here. Enough! Stop! Just give me a reason. You have one? It's a free country, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa! Hey! What gives? You just kicked my sign over! Ah, that was the wind, man. A big old gust just came through, right? Yeah, crazy. Just now it whooshed right over. Uh, I told you! Put that down! <laughs> Come on! Kids don't seem to give any fucks about people these days. Agreed. So much for seeing the sights, huh? Well, you're thinking what I'm thinking, aren't you? <laughs> Do you have to ask? <laughs> So, anything else you want to accuse us of? I'd say you must be losing it, Pops. You goddamn brats! I got that one! He called us goddamn brats! You picking on high schoolers, man? Uh, no. I just don't want you loitering in front of my store! That's all I said, okay? So stop disturbing my customers! <laughs> that part's not gonna make the video. Wow, is that one of those new smartphone models? May I? What the hell? Damn, the camera on this thing is amazing, man. Your parents buy it for you? Holy crap, he kicked Sakaki down! You must be saying things, kid. Anyway, your smartphone's kind of dirty, don't you think? Let me see. Hey! Give me my phone back! You want it back? I'll give it back, but only if you put this poor restaurant owner's sign back up first. You think you can fuck with us? You're gonna kick your ass! Come on!
Guys are monsters. Yo, <laughs> was that Aikido just now? Oh, don't tell me you've been training at a secret dojo or something. Uh, just more of my own thing, really. Here, this came from one of those kids. Your call, what to do with it? <sighs> you really didn't have to, but thank you. Those were students from Serio High. <sighs> You'd think private school kids would be better behaved, but they're just as immature. They look like a bunch of entitled brats. <laughs> They'd learned some manners the hard way in Kamurocho. Well, we've got our fair share of unsavory types. The Yakuza, not to mention those Yokohama Leomon gangsters. Those kids wouldn't dare to mess with them. So they're selective about their targets. Yes. They'll only harass you if they think they'll get away with it. Think they'll be back for more? I certainly hope not. Anyway, I sure am glad you stopped by. Come to think of it, you're the only ones who've ever intervened. I take it you're not from around here? Yeah, but we might end up staying. For a while, at least. Ever hear of a detective agency called Yokohama 99? We were on our way there right now. Hmm. I'm afraid that doesn't ring a bell. That's all right. If anything, we should get going. Sure. Oh, but before that, please take this with you. Consider it a token of my gratitude. Yokohama 99. Yeah, that's the place. Wow. Not... It's too fast. Watch this! You wish you hadn't. <laughs> Really, guys? 
Let's roll, Tom. Yo. Ah, if it isn't the man of the hour, Yagamishi. Gentlemen, welcome. How are you? <laughs> this guy. First he falls off the radar. Now he's got this sweet office. You're still quick as a thief. Maybe a little quicker, actually. Well, I'd say thief isn't very fair. It was stealing. Oh, come on. You know I wasn't doing it to line my own pockets, right? We took from the powerful and gave to the powerless. It was altruism. And it's all in the past now, so let's just leave it at that. The place is nice, though. Kind of familiar, even. It should be. You're our inspiration, Yagami Detective Agency. You guys are the goal. Huh. For sure. So, how about you guys take a load off? If you're ready, I'll give you guys the briefing. Say what? A briefing, man? Let him go over what we know. I've actually got an agenda for today's meeting, too. An agenda? Just roll with it. Give him a chance. All the detective talk has made him go a little overboard. I'm sure it'll work itself out. <laughs> it's all good. Imitation really is the sincerest form of flattery. To sum up why we called you, we've been seeing a... M what do you think? Care to take... I'll give you a hint. It's not a problem you'd find so in... So, it's specific? I know. It's gang warfare. The outfits run in China. Well, we... Yeah, so you Actually, no, what we're doing... Sometimes, fairly often... Hello? How? Most research this leads scientifically. Yeah. But that would have... Ah, see, for instance... Well, then it's... Indeed. Ancient matriarchs were particularly vulnerable during childbirth, thus requiring communal support. So you could kind of say the survival and reproduction of our species was largely oxytocin at work. After all, raising a child in the wilderness would have been impossible alone. However, this intense social need bore a dark side. Individuals who failed to contribute were shunned and eventually condemned. Let's say there was a villager who never put in his fair share. All he did was eat the crops. If that became the norm, nobody would work until the village was on the brink of starvation. And by then it'd be too late. Precisely. That's why these offenders were punished. Primitive as it was, punishment equated to justice necessary measure for society's greater good. And societies with a stricter sense of justice were the ones who endured in the long run. To put this into focus, these people are our direct ancestors. So from a science perspective, modern day bullying is just primitive? More like it's hardwired into our nature. Hormones are fucked up, huh? I wouldn't chalk it up to just that. However, we humans do tend to reject what's foreign to us. Whether we're socially awkward or simply misunderstood, those who don't conform are ostracized. That's how it's been since time immemorial. The misfits of civilization all over the world, no matter where or when. Looks like you guys have been doing your homework. Tsukumo-kun's the one hitting the books. I'm more in charge of the field work. Makes sense. Here's another fun fact while we're at it. An act of betrayal also increases the human urge to punish. In those cases, the act of punishment floods the brain with dopamine. In other words, serving justice can feel just as good as eating or having sex. Sure, but that's where we have to draw the line. Justice can't be twisted into joy 
or it stops serving its purpose. Very perceptive. So, back to reality. What's this big case? Ah, yes. Our client is the chairman of a private school. He wants us to scour the campus for any and all instances of bullying, leaving no stone on That said, he also requires us to be dis- How big is this school? Uh, let's see, there are six classes per grade, making 18 in total. So approximately 600 students. Given that, Sugiyurashi and I couldn't possibly vet them alone. We'll be meeting the chairman at a restaurant tonight to lay out this- How about the two of you come join us? Man. <laughs> For a couple of rookies, you should- You guys are free until dinner. Oh, we already made the reservations in Chinatown, by the way. Think of it as a little welcoming party. The restaurant's name is Kyoinro. If you could meet us there, that'd be great. Sure. <laughs> you didn't- Really, guys?
waste. Stay down. Really, guys? Kyoinra. Looks like this is it. Are you almost here, Yagamishi? We went ahead and sat down. Actually, we're right out front. Excellent. Just give Will the host my... <laughs> Was this the same guy living in a net cafe not too long ago? He sure has come. Yeah, at this rate, he'll leave us in the dust. Without further ado, allow me to introduce Yagamishi and Kaito-san. The gentlemen I mentioned before. They are, without a doubt, the finest private eyes in Kamurocho. Ah, yes. Tsukumo-san here has certainly been singing your praises. My name is Ukuda. I'm the chairman of the private high school. Seirio, if you've heard of it. Seirio High. Isn't that where those kids were from? Yeah. Ones from earlier. Is something the matter? We actually ran into some of your students today. There must have been seven, eight of them. They were harassing a restaurant worker and recording it on their phone. Oh boy. And I'm guessing you didn't just stand and watch? You bet your ass we did. Had to knock a little sense into those brats. You mean there was an altercation? I... Perhaps I should pretend not to have heard that. Come on, pal. Why don't we cut the formal crap and tell it like it is? Because that would be unprofessional, Kaito-san. Chairman, we'd like to start investigating tomorrow. So would you mind sharing any background information you may have? Certainly, yes. Our administration has a very firm stance against bullying. Yet no policy is foolproof, and each situation is unique. We continually ask ourselves, are we taking proper measures to foster a supportive environment? Or, if enmity is already prevalent among the student body, are we addressing their concerns promptly enough? I believe the key is prevention. Stop bullying before it starts. And you're hiring detectives to help? Oh, yes. See, as this thought was dawning on me, I happened across a sign. Yokohama 99, it read. I visited your webpage, actually, and I discovered just how well-versed you were at that moment. I knew fate was guiding my hand. Sounds like you walked right out of a commercial. In most situations we've dealt with, we knew who the problem was beforehand. All we needed to do was get the evidence, but in this case, we don't even know if there's a bully in the first place. Hence why we called in the reinforcement. So, I take it you have some sort of plan? Of course. We're going to start by spreading hidden cameras throughout the school, anywhere that bullying is most likely to occur. This footage should provide a detailed snap. Then, after a two-week test run, we'll compile our data and present our initial analysis. Nothing beats a good old-fashioned spy cam. 
Yes, but if one of these spy camps were found, the whole operation could be compromised. As such, our pair of experts are intimately familiar with the complexities of human behavior, ensuring these cameras remain hidden. <laughs> Damn, you make me want to hire us. This secret stays between you and us, Chairman. Not even the guards or teachers can know. Do I have that correct? You do. I believe the more people who know, the more likely it is this would get out. At any rate, I've heard Yagami-san here has tackled many a difficult case in Kamroch. I'm glad to have such a reliable detective on... <laughs> they just keep raising the bar on us, don't... So, Yagami-shi, if there's anything you'd like to ask the chairman... Hey, good idea. You might learn a thing or two from watching the master at work. Way to put me on the spot, guys. But might as well. Could you elaborate on why you're going the detective route for this? Like I said, my goal is to nip any bullying in the bud before it can grow any worse. And it's not enough for the teachers to be on full alert? Unfortunately, no. I'm afraid I can't fully trust whatever they jot down on some report. Okuda-san, you mentioned you couldn't trust your teacher's reports. Why? Uh, human error, I suppose. Behavior. Your first response seemed to hint at something else. Yes. Yes, I suppose. Can you tell me what's going on? Uh, uh, you see, folks, it has been almost four years since the suicide of one of our students. The poor boy hung himself at home. You mean because he was being bullied? Not on paper, at least. We established a committee to investigate, but they never turned up anything. Neither did the court. Wait, you were taken to court? Yes. One of the student's parents filed a lawsuit. Now, there were online postings that may or may not have hinted at the bullet. The prosecution never found substantial evidence, and the court ruled we were in the clique. If I can ask your honest opinion, was there really no bullying, Chairman? I would like to believe that. But I may have been too far removed from the classroom to say that in good. Every day I watch our students come to school, and what I see are young, happy kids. They're all so full of life, with bright futures ahead. However, around two months ago, we lost contact with one of our student teachers. Everyone assumes it's a mental health. The hell? Don't tell me he got picked on too. That could have been the case. But I didn't get enough details to say for sure. From what I'd observed, he appeared to be getting along quite well with the students. But I later heard his family had reported him missing. At the end of the day, I'm asking you to shed light on the that is why I went the detective. So... We never actually resolved this, but we did get into a scuffle with your students. No one got hurt, but how do you feel about that? Uh, well, uh, I'm afraid I have to remain ignorant. Fine, but let me tell you one thing. Next time I see your students harassing someone, it's gonna be lights out. The kitty gloves are- <laughs> That also part of the Yagami Detective Agency package? In the event we do uncover bullying, what action would you take? Of course, we would provide appropriate counseling, in addition to notifying the local authority. Wouldn't that mean increasing the teacher's workload? Interviewing students, filling out paperwork. That could lead to making people not want to bother reporting. Hmm. Sad to say, I can't rule out that possibility. The teachers have so much on their plate as it is. I doubt they'd volunteer to look for any extra. That is why we must strike at the root of it. What if you offered your staff a bonus for catching any bullies in the act? <laughs> I know that'd motivate me. Uh, you don't think that'd backfire? <laughs> Actually, it might be worth considering. But the fact of the matter remains. Bullying has no perfect solution. I think this conversation has been enlightening. Any thoughts, Tsukumo? 
Hmm, what else is there? I suppose we'll have to see when we get there. We may have more questions then. That would be fine. All right then. Time to dig in or what? Are you really pretending you waited? You've been nibbling this whole time. <laughs> you call this nibbling? Hey, waiter! I want to place an order. And tell your chef, I hope his kitchen can handle this heat. Uh, I take it this place isn't exactly cheap? Don't you worry about that, Yagamishi. The bill's on us. It's your welcoming party, remember? In that case... Uh, excuse me. I'm ready to order, too. So, how is that for your f I re- Oh, yeah. Tomorrow- Oh, eh. well, yeah. <laughs> As you may- We must- Sounds- <laughs> In any- I'm a night owl. If you want to close- Eugene shows not sides. <sighs> hmm? Huh? <sighs> hmm. Yeah. No way. Uh, <sighs> nah. Huh? Huh? Yagami san. Huh? <laughs> hey! Yeah. Uh, huh? <laughs> uh, huh? Uh, hmm. Nah. Yeah. Can you? Gotcha. Yeah. Excuse me. No way. Yeah. 
<laughs> hey. Yep. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> I owe you one. Yagamishi, Hyun Beish, yeah. What's up with those guys? They sure look like men on a mission. But for what? We will now commence our journey by taxi to Seiryo High. Gentlemen, are we all ready? Remember, this case can open up a lot for us depending on how we solve it. So let's leave no stone unturned. <laughs> Don't worry. No case is too big or too small. We always swing for the fences. Ain't that right, Tom? <laughs> no, it. Good. Then let's get going. <laughs> 